Nice to meet guys. That's what I was telling you. Yeah. They're rich. Yeah, they're uh, clearly interested in breasts. Also, they're rich. Because LA historically not is so good uh, for meeting guys. Not so good for meeting guys. It's always some 50 year old guy sporting some 20 year old girl with a two year old nose and lips that still have the tag hanging off of them. Hey, let's pretend easy. just for one second yeah. that LA is not Disneyland for men. There's okay. gotta be one guy out there, one or two, who's looking to land a couple of great names like us. Yeah, one or two, couple of two, three. Yeah. But if you do happen to meet one, yeah. the ones you meet, they got no coot. I'm sorry, what? They got no coot. Stay with me. Coot, coot, you know, coot. What they had in their ute before they got jaded, moved to LA, coot, forgot coot. how to romance women. Coot. Yeah, 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 coot. Come on, guys. I mean, coot can't be that hard. Yeah. Come on, swing it. A little romance. Pretend yeah. we're prom queens for be a second. Swan. Come on. Be debonair. Yeah, please, fellas. We're not asking for much. No. Just give us some big, big words. words. The girls today in society go for classical poetry. So to win their hearts, one must quote with ease. Aeschylus Ooh. and Euripides. One must know Homer and believe me, Bo. Sophocles, also Sappho. Unless you know Shelley and Keats and Pope, a state. T. Debbie's will call you a dope. But the poet of them all, who will start on simply raving, is the poet people call the bottom. Shakespeare, start quoting him now and turn. Brush up your Shakespeare, and the women you will wow. Just a claim a few lines from Attila. Yeah. And she'll think you're a hell of a fella. If your blonde won't respond when you flatter her, tell, him. tell her what Tony told Cleopatra. If she fights when her clothes you are mussin'. What are clothes much ado about nothing? Brush up your Shakespeare and they'll all kowtow. The band's doing very He's well. doing very well. Brush up your Shakespeare. Stop quoting him now. Brush up your Shakespeare and the women you will wow. With the wife of the British ambassador, I say. try a crack at a Troilus and Crassida. If she says she won't buy it or like what it, what then, darling? Make a target. What's more, as you like it. Ooh, if she, she says, says your behaviour is heinous, kick her right in a Coriolanus. Brush up your Shakespeare, and they'll all cow down. That went quite well. Yes, I think we sounded like Julie Andrews. Shakespeare, stop quoting him now. Brush up your Shakespeare, and the women you will wow. If you can't be a ham and do Hamlet, they will not give a damn or a damlet. Just recite the occasional sonnet, and your lap will have honey upon it. If your baby is pleading for pleasure, let, let her sample it. your measure for measure. Shakespeare, and they'll all kowtow. For suit. And they'll all kowtow. Eat faith. And they'll all kowtow. Oh. Brush up your Shakespeare. Start quoting him now. Brush up your Shakespeare. And the women you will wow. If your goyle is a Washington Heights dream, oh yeah. Treat the kid to a midsummer night's dream. If she then wants an all by herself night, yeah. let her rest every eleventh or twelfth night. About that. If because of your heat she gets huffy, simply play on and lay on McDuffie. Brush up your 
Shakespeare. M.L.O. Kowtow. Forsooth. M.L.O. Kowtow. Thinkest thou? M.L.O. Kowtow. We trow. M.L.O. Kowtow. OK, now we're done. And now, welcome to the stage, Taylor Dane and Linda Hart. <laughs>